Hey, welcome back to Ramsey Land. Today I want to show you how to make a giant levitating ring that you can walk through. Check this out. So I'm here with my buddy Rick Croslin. He's using a balloon inflator and 30 link balloons. This is what link balloons look like. They have a little bit of latex on the end so they can be tied together. Rick, how many balloons are you gonna inflate? I let's try 15 or, or maybe more. So just when you think you know all the demos for Bernoulli, you come up with a new thing to try and do. So maybe we can levitate the ring of Bernoulli and then maybe get somebody to jump through it. Is it magic or science? I don't know, it's starting to look a little like magic, but no, it's science, that's <laughs> right. Awesome, all right. So you wanna tie the balloons end to end so that they're all connected and eventually you're gonna connect them into a ring. So since we're using a leaf blower to lower the air pressure for our balloon Bernoulli ring, we had to add a little bit of weight to our balloon. So we're tying shoestrings between each intersection. So as they rotate, they don't hit the ceiling. So now Rick is trying to find the right angle for the leaf blower. So we're just hitting the top edge of the balloons to reduce that air pressure. And I, we're gonna try this angle. What, do, what angle do you think that is? Uh, I, it's, I think it's pretty sharp. Uh, from the ground, it's about 80 degrees. Yeah, okay, we'll try that. Looks like we're getting there. Yeah. Yep. Looks good. Look at that. What can I say? It's science. It's science. So the weight is just right, so it's not quite hitting the ceiling, but it's not hitting the ground either. We need a volunteer to jump through the roof. <laughs> That is cool. I love science. <laughs> you can see the leaf blower over here, kind of that angle where it's hitting the top edge of the balloons. There it is. Very cool. So, Bernoulli, my favorite scientist. You know, it's a principle, it actually is more of a math equation that if you increase the flow of a liquid or a gas, in this case air, it decreases the pressure. It's one of the main principles why airplanes fly or why I take this strip of paper and if I blow fast enough, the velocity of the air increases. So inside of that column of fast moving air, low pressure, the atmosphere keeps it up. But I think there's something else besides Bernoulli making this very cool science demo. What do you think, Keith? But if you look at the shape of the balloon, it's curved. And that makes me think that part of this is the Coanda effect. So air molecules tend to stick to a curved surface. So the balloons aren't just staying in that stream of fast moving air because there's low pressure, but it's also because air molecules are sticking to the curvature of the balloon. So whenever you have something that has a curve, if it's in a stream of fast moving air, you're also using the Coanda effect. So is that why every time I try to pull, pour a bowl of soup into another container, it goes down the side instead yes. of, ah, what's yes. that effect? That's oh. the Coanda effect. The Coanda effect. A little <laughs> bit, a little bit of what's going on here. I love Bernoulli. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed today's edition of Ramsey Land, and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this presentation, be sure to remember to like and subscribe.